What's up, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine? My nieces and my nephews. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus. It's your girl, girl Scorpion Queen, but you can call me Auntie. I'm here to give you a message about a dark female energy. Okay. Whoever this feminine energy is, this person can be your friend. Just a minute. Hold on. It could be a... That's a confirmation. You hear that confirmation? It's a dark feminine energy around you. That's... Was sent towards you. Now this could be a family member. This could be a female friend. This can be a, a co-worker. This could be someone who you call a friend. Okay. But the devil, you may have had genuine love for this person. It could be your own sister. But whoever it is, she was sent into your life to try to cause burdens. Okay. This is, when I see the divine feminine card in reverse, this is a dark negative energy, okay? Someone low vibrational, um, manipulative, lies and cheats to get what they want out of life. Now whoever this dark feminine is, she was sent to your house. Now this is those of, for those of you you allowed someone to come stay with you. This was a dark energy that you allowed up in your house. Whoever sent this energy, they're throwing magic over your house. They want chaos and conflict to be going on in your house. Whoever this female energy is, she could be a younger female. In my case, it was a, a young uh, teenager. That was sent by the devil. Okay, so if this resonating with you, go on ahead and put it in the comments. But whoever this dark feminine energy is, she could be a divine feminine. She's supposed to be a divine feminine. She has the powers of a divine feminine, but she uses those powers for darkness. This is somebody who don't want you to tell them no. This happened in my in my case. Somebody didn't didn't want no boundaries. This feminine energy is going to, you know, try to manipulate you to where they feel like they can walk over you. They're wearing a mask. Okay? So I'm going to pull some more energy about this dark feminine. She don't want you to set no boundaries. This is someone who you would allow in your house and they try to take over. They want things for you to change the way your house is. This is the manipulation over your home. And see, this person was sent into your life by the devil to cause conflict. They may not know. They may know. And they may not. Okay? But see, whatever it is that they try to do, trying to do, is going to backfire. This person is going to be in the hot seat. Okay? This is a, a, a burden energy. Someone sent somebody to your house for you to be burdened about their bullshit. Okay, about what they're going through. And like I said, this person, they're not, they don't like no one to tell them no. This is a third party energy. Somebody was being deceptive with the Seven of Swords that just came out. Trying to be sneaky. Trying to get away with something. 
hiding shit, keeping secrets. Let's clarify this seven of swords. When it comes to this dark feminine, what is she trying to be sneaky? Or this could be a masculine energy in a feminine energy. This could be a man that acts like a woman. Or a woman that acts like a man. We have twins. This could be a twin flame. Somebody, you know, they may they may be twins or they may have twins. You could have brought these twins into your home. Yeah. See, you could bring somebody into your home. And because you're on a spiritual journey, this female energy is trying to make people think that you have a demon. But this same energy will bring a Bible up in your house and never read it. Never opened it. Okay, but because you got crystals and, and you burn Palo Santo and Sage, their their guilt gets to them because they feel they know they have a demon. Oh, why you why you always gotta you know be burning the sage and and, and stuff and you know you you trying to say I'm a demon. So whoever sent them in the this, the natural realm to come to your house to destroy your house, they told them that. The, the, the crystals and, and you know some of you are tarot readers that all of that is witchcraft but see they're the one if you really think about it the person who sent them is a devil so how can they talk about somebody being a witch the person that sent this energy to your home is the devil they sent a witch into your home to try to destroy it this feminine energy is has no cleanliness about herself. She only would, would clean and do things when it's 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 something for her. This is a female energy that will, you know, manipulate people, play the victim on them. And somebody sent them into your life all because they was jealous of your home. Okay? So this person, you know. They 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 acting like they scared of you like you you have a the demon but it's them and you're gonna you're gonna see this demon because the 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 when you burning the sage and the, and the Palo Santo when you taking your spiritual baths and you're you're cleansing your energy and if this makes this devil mad so pretty soon it's gonna it's it's gonna be exposed you're gonna expose it. Because this devil is going to act out in some sort of way that you've never seen them act before. Okay. This is somebody who you, you loved, you cared about. Come to find out they're dark. They could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or they can be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. I don't see no water out here. Okay. This this energy, you know, was was trying to bring chaos and conflict. Whoever they sent they sent this feminine energy into your home. And she brought nothing but a lot of con you know, conflict. This is an energy that would stay on the phone and you would hear them. You would hear the conversations. You hear the low vibrational energies that they're around. And this person, you know, if you try to say something to them spiritually about the company that they're keeping, the things that they're doing, they blew up. They got mad. They get upset. They don't want you to tell them no. They don't want you to say enough is enough. This person is running around, you know, like, like they're afraid of you and your demons. But they're the demon that you let up in your house that got all of this chaos and shit going on. And somebody sent this spirit to you. And and spirit been warning this person not to do this. Okay? You see these two dogs. It's like they howling at this person. You know, telling her, don't go in that gate. Don't go in that gate. Don't go in there. Don't go for the deception. Don't follow that moon. 
tell me more about this dark feminine energy that the collective allowed into their house. Now this person could be your your your, your baby sister, your older sister. This could be your mother. This could be your niece. Um or it could be a, a masculine energy that is just someone I can say he, I can say she. But it's the energy that somebody allowed in their house. And this this um energy brought nothing but negative shit with them into your home okay now this could also represent um she could be leaving can't tell if she's coming or going but you know it, it, it when i look at it it's like a spooky house up there and somebody is going to see and the moon is out there and them dogs is howling okay they could be telling, you know, warning her, telling her, don't go in there, don't go, don't go. But she's still doing it. Following, sneaking, following somebody, secretly, you know, watching somebody. Be careful out there. Okay? No weapon that forms against us shall prosper. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life and my collective. Okay. Or this could mean that somebody following you, they they have the demon. Okay? They have a demon that's attached to them. Now, see, this person is is burdened. Shit is backfiring. Tell me about the energy that sent this person to the to the collective's house. Show me the energy that sent the person to the collective's house. Show me the energy that sent this person, this dark feminine, to the collective's house. Show me the energy. Somebody that wants you to submit to them, give yourself to them, um, bend to their will. You know, some somebody wants you to do what they want you to do. They want you to be like putty in their hands, whether it's a family member, whether it's your ex, it's your husband, whoever it is. Somebody you let up in your home. Now, this could mean that this energy that they let in your house, somebody's masculine. Um, this person could be doing this because she's submitting to him. Okay. This could be some cult, some family cult shit. It could be siblings, one one set of siblings, children against another sibling's children. You know, just angry and bitter and mad because one sibling's family is not, you know, low vibrational. They do positive things where this this uh, other family is used to being in jail, prison life, and just negative energy. And the other family is good. Okay. They believe in, in, in awakening and spirituality and healing and all of that stuff where this other energy is saying that's that's uh it's witchcraft and all of that. But the spirituality is helping this other family grow. Whereas this family this is a it's like a, a, a family of, of dark against the light. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is what this is. Two siblings. It's like some Cain and Abel shit. Mm -hmm. Some Cain and Abel shit. Where this, this um, one, one sibling is jealous of the other. One sibling is good and the other sibling is bad and, and low vibrational and envious and jealous. And he's raising his kids to be the same way. They're seeds of his seed. And you let one of this, this, this one of his kids or his grandkids you let one of his seeds into your home and she came in there and destroyed it started a lot of shit something's coming to an end though tell me more about this dark feminine energy that, that was allowed into the collector's house somebody made a, a quick rash hasty decision Trying to get away with something. Trying to be deceptive. 
It's a lot of moons out here. And for some of you, if if this could be somebody who, um, it could be a, a masculine energy that you let up in your house, or this could be a masculine energy, his somebody in his family. that you allowed to stay in your house and they came in and started a lot of shit they even started accusing people of doing things to them that never happened they lied to get other people to jump on this person could be an air sign that you're dealing with because air signs are airheads I'm not trying to be funny but you have a lot of you know you, you feel like with an Aquarius particularly feel like someone is always against them someone is always picking on them okay they don't trust nobody they shy away from their spotlight because they they don't you know try to process any healing they just feel they play the victim a lot now i'm sorry you aquariuses if you out there and you listen to this from the experience i had with three aquariuses and they all play victim okay if you agree with me put it in the comments Hit that thumbs up. But um, this is somebody, you know, that sent a dark feminine energy to you. She has a, 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 a older feminine that's teaching her how to be dark. And this dark feminine, this is, this is, you knew them, you know them, but you never seen this demonic side of them. You actually seen a devil in this person. You actually seen this that this person, this young feminine, is possessed by the devil. But she'll carry a Bible, you know, and and you know, look innocent and sweet. But there's a whole nother side to that person. And I'm learning this from experience to where I never want that energy in my house again not around me not around my my children my grandchildren because they will point the finger and say somebody is doing something to you and see whoever this feminine energy is that's dark she has a a, a demon that makes her piss on herself okay you could have allowed this person in your in your home and they you know start urinating they wet in the bed and, and had your house smelling and you try to tell this feminine about that and, and she get upset. Whatever it's like, whatever you try to tell them, she don't want you to tell her no. You could have told her, no, I don't want my house smelling like pee. No. I don't want, I don't want you leaving, you know, your your pads or, 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 or cotex and it just it's just a, a, a unclean spirit. So this person started plotting on you. All because they're mad at themselves for, for what their life has been, what they allowed to be in their life. You know, they have energies that they picking up from other people, places, and things that's attached to them, that has made them dark. And yeah, just because if this is a family member, they grown up. They're not that same little pugly face person that you, you know, you, you grew to love. They've been through shit. Some of them have been in the system. Some of them are um, kids that, that's been in foster homes in and out. Um, some of them are kids that been abused by their parents and you allowed. You know like, you remember the movie, uh, Tyler Perry movie. I can't remember which one it was. Where, where they made Medea take care of that foster child. The same way that foster child, she was a bully, right? Same energy that I let in my house. Bullying people. You know, these are energies. You got to be careful. You got to be aware. Well, it, it opened my eyes and it gave me some clarity in this situation to never allow um, somebody to come live with you. It may seem that you're being cold and cruel, but no, you these people, they're, they're not on a spiritual journey and they bring demons into your house. Spirits of uncleanliness. Spiritual, spirits of hatred. A lot of profanity and cussing and just disrespectful um that was not me pooping y'all that's me rubbing my foot under my chair see 
So y'all won't think I'm in here farting. <laughs> but yeah, these are the energies that you have to be aware of. Because they were sent into your life to destroy it, to sabotage you, to, to bring low vibrational shit. And some of you, this could be a family member of yours. Some of this, some of some of you, this could be one of your friends' people that you allowed. It's somebody that you allowed. You try to help them and you let them come stay with you. And they turned around and did some foul shit. Okay, that's because this was a dark feminine in somebody's center. All these moons out here. Spirit is saying for you to pay attention to your dreams. When you pay attention to your dreams, you'll be able to see things. You know, you'll see the deception. And this person, you know, if shit is backfiring on them, they have a nightmares right about now. This person probably gets into a lot of fights and arguments with other people. And they was trying to, you know, bring that, that type of shit up in your house. That type of energy of fights and chaos. That type of energy. But see, if you put salt across your door, that demon couldn't come across that door. It had to just stand outside the door barking. Because whoever this feminine energy is, she sent some big dogs towards you. To try to fight you. This is what happened with me. I was fostering my niece. And my other niece, and these are my brother's kids. And he's evil, low vibrational, he's the devil. And he sent his kids to attack me. And I was trying to help his granddaughter. So now, you know, she lied, turned around and, and said that my son put his hands on her where she jumped up off the couch and ran to his room and pushed him up against the wall, yelling and screaming on the phone while she got my other niece on the phone, making her believe that he's over here jumping on her. This is why you got to be careful of these type of energies you let in your house. They are, they are jealous. Because your child ain't never been to jail. Your child ain't never came in contact with the police. But they have. In my case, my, my siblings, his children has come into the law and done prison time. Not mine. So he's jealous of that. So he's telling them and now he's, his, his daughter, his granddaughter was very close to me. I raised her father. And he's jealous of that. So he's, you know, he's, this energy... If it's a sibling of yours, this is someone who always, you know, in competition with you. They in competition, you know. Um, my brother used to say things to my dad like it's the men against the women. Now my father is dead and my mom is in a nursing home. He That, that flame went out. So what he tried to do, he tried to fire it up again using his kids against my kids. My kids against your kids. He has his kids hating me. And I ain't did nothing to him. And, and they blaming it on my mother. But they mad at him. At, at Not mad at him. They should be pissed off with him. He the one who wasn't the father to him. He the one who laid down and screwed their mama and made them. Not me. Not my mother. We did what we, 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 what we could do. And they don't appreciate us. And they hate that. So this is this is if this is resonating with you, then put it in the comments. Did you allow a dark feminine into your home? Teenager. You don't have to. Even, they don't even have to be a teenager. They can be just somebody of energy that you let in your house. So you have to take it where it resonates. It don't mean because I'm saying this. This is is resonating with me. But the part is, it was my niece. Who I allowed in my house. In your case it could be your sister. It could be your person's sister. Whoever it is. You left them in their house. In your house. And they, they caused a lot of chaos. And they did a lot of shit. And when you called them out on their shit. They didn't like it. I'm trying to put somebody in jail. But it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to work. 
some more. And Oscar's told me to tell you guys, don't forget to put where you at so he can come to your town and pick up them karmics around your, your town. He'll pick your karmic up for you. If you want him to, you got to tell him what city and state you're in. Somebody was playing with, with Ouija boards and shit. Somebody conjured up a uh, some sort of spirit. And they can't get can't get rid of it. And now they losing money. Okay. Everything that whoever sent this energy to you and the energy that they sent to you, they losing money. Mm-hmm. They tried to send the energy of prison and jail to you. Chaos and conflict. By letting this person up into your home. knives I'm not a tarot reader but this this person could you know they they could have for some of you they may have tried to threaten you my niece didn't threaten me with no knife or anything like that okay she just went into a rage because I told her no something she couldn't do so this could be something that you're all dealing with um, for some of you this person could have could have uh, pulled the knife on you because you didn't give them no money Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles in the, in the Five of Swords. Four of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more, Spirit. But whatever the case, the energy that this masculine sent to your house, yeah, Queen of, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This was a dark stingy female mm -hmm. you could you could be a queen of pentacles in reverse somebody could have uh you could have went to queen of pentacles in reverse if somebody pulled a, a knife on you about your money or somebody could be you know secretly you know um like i said try to send some sort of spirit out of a ouija board to come attack your finances to bring chaos but this is what's going to happen to them we rebuke this spirit and we send it back to hell where it come from or we return it back to sender in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit i'm asking for divine protection as i channel these crazy messages see this is somebody you you said you you told them you set some boundaries with them. Mm hmm You you tried to set you know make you tried to balance the situation with them, or you tried to help balance this person out. The the things that you seen negative about them, you tried to help them. You tried to talk to them, teach them, and they didn't want to listen. If anything, they turned on you because that was that demon. It was mad. The demon is mad. The devil is mad. You didn't do nothing but treat this person with love and light. And they turned around and bit you in the ass. And the crazy thing is when I set these cards out last night. I set them around my um, selenite. And I put four decks around them. Around it touching it to clear the negative energy from it right and I turned each deck upside down and these were the cards divine feminine in reverse a dark feminine backfiring something is backfiring where she trying to send some chaos and conflict in your life and this person is mad because you told them no they don't want you to tell them no they don't want you to set no boundaries so they, they set out to start, you know, being deceptive towards you, doing a lot of shit in secret against you. Okay, and for some of you, this is this come this energy was sent to you by somebody you was fucking around with. It's some of their family members they sent up in your house. Um, it could be one of your persons, one of his side chicks or somebody family member, or it could be his side chick that he, you know, had brought up in your house. You know, not your person, but somebody's family member sent somebody or put somebody in your house and they, they brought a demon with them. They was plotting. They plot failed. Yeah. 
you, whoever this energy is, they're threatened by you with this devil out here, demonic attachments. They was trying to send the energy of, of, of spiritual attacks to you by getting with other people talking about you, you know, trying to close your third eye, you know, and, and these people, they're not spiritually awakened. They don't use their intuition. They don't show no love. And now they're having regrets for the manipulation and the mind games because they, they spell work when in reverse. Okay? The magician in reverse. Manipulation. Trickery. Wasted talent. Deception and illusions. This person is cunning that they sent up in your house. They tried to manipulate you. And they are talented. But they, like I said, they waste their talent on darkness. Now they having a tower moment. Because you have the answers to their needs and they're getting karma. This person was, was like reading some shit. You know, um, this could be, look like I said, this this could be where uh, they they walking around your house. They, they come with the Bible like they reading the Bible, but they ain't reading the Bible. They dark. They come and bring the Bible up in your house, you know. The, it, it, it has been shit taken out of the Bible. Okay? It's been tampered with. So them coming up in your house because you got some crystals and bringing a Bible. And they not reading it. It was laid down backwards. What does that say about them? They don't care about that Bible. They didn't lay it up right saying it's the Holy Bible. They had it face down. That tells you a lot. Okay? But I see you have protection here. This person know that, you know, the devil in them, seeing the progress in you, seeing, seeing you progressing quickly, okay? So they, you know, sent this energy to you. They wishing that, you know, you stuck. And they're getting karma, the will of fortune in reverse. Everything they try to send to you is going to happen to them and that dark energy. See, this, they, they was, it's somebody talking to this feminine, this young, dark feminine. A witch in reverse, giving her bad advice. All of the shit that they was trying to send to you and ain't working. And this is the energy of somebody, you know, running. They thought you was going to be running from this this dark energy, but now they they finna be running from um the demons that they sent to you. See, this is somebody who you're defending yourself. Okay, and I'm not a tarot reader, but this energy, she's defending herself. With all of these energies coming towards her. This is somebody you know. Um, this is like the full energy. Starting on a new journey. A new beginning. This is chaos and conflict in reverse. And now whoever this is. They losing sleep. They stressing. These people could have been trying to do some sort of ritual over you. Now they're, they're seeing monsters. That they try to send to you. Is going back to them. They feeling shit under their bed. They may feel their bed shaking at night because they done conjured up some demons. They may have a, uh, they put an Ouija board under his bed and now that spirit is coming out. Mm-hmm. This is somebody, you know, um, who, who you may walk away from. Okay. Somebody, they may be walking away from shit. But you, it's like, whoever this energy, they're, they're jealous of your skills. They're jealous of your talents. They're jealous of your relationship. They're jealous of your accomplishments. So they send somebody to try to break you down. And they're not protected. Queen of, work, Queen of Wands in reverse, the Hermit. Virgo, Airy Leo, Sagittarius, a dark feminine. See, yeah, this is somebody dark. They losing money though. They wanted you to be stuck, but you not. They were sending death magic or try to put whoever they sent this person in your house to uh, send, have some things to come to an end for you. And this right here, I call him the butler. This is who sent them. This is who sent this person. And he, he sent them. And this is like, when I say, see him, it's like he done, you see that, that little, this little thing right here, it has something in it. He could have, you know, pretend like he's at your service, like he's there to help you, anything you need. But he was really there to poison you, to poison your mind, to put things to fuck you up, 
okay and you could have got wind of this shit and you stopped taking the offer from this person or whatever they was trying to offer you you didn't want it okay so they try to do some shit for you to lose money now they losing money ten of pentacles and the king of pentacles in reverse because you're aware of this shit that this person you know wasn't trying to um they didn't want you to have no options they didn't it's like they're just straight jealous of you okay they didn't want you to be able to see things if you're a clairvoyant clairaudient this person whoever they they just don't want you to have shit okay they've been doing all sorts of candle magic they, if you have money they want you to be afraid to spend your money they don't want you to have no lovers no sex no intimacy you know this person has has raged a war against you yeah and we bind that spirit we send this devil back to hell where he come from no weapon that forms against you or me shall prosper okay you 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 um you claim clarity and personal growth you celebrate your life and enjoy life you're not scared to be happy you're not vain or ar or arrogant spirit says for you to be more realistic okay because you are a star focus on you know being a star focus on your personal growth focus on healing your health wholeness and recognize your gifts and your talents okay and trust in abundance and share your wisdom okay because you got somebody out there that's jealous of you and they sent the toxic low vibrational feminine into your house or it could be a masculine energy into your house to disrupt to disrupt your happiness that devil was sent into your life to slow you down it didn't stop you but it slowed you down but you back up on your game and you just got to have faith and believe that you can succeed okay and i'll see you guys in the next read if this reading resonated with you make sure you hit that thumbs up button and i will see you in the next read peace out